Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple home pedicure with ingredients you can find in your home and simple tools you can pick up from your local beauty supply store. We're going to jump on in. First, you're going to need a bowl or something to put your feet in and we're going to use some warm water to help to soften our feet. Then we're going to use some river stone. This helps to massage the sole of our feet and give you that therapeutic spa-like vibe. Next, I'm adding some baking soda and some conditioner. This really helps to soften the dry and dead skin. And I'm also going to add some essential oil. This is optional, but I'm going to place some tea tree oil, lavender oil, and peppermint oil. They have antifungal and antibacterial property, which really helps to fight and get rid of any form of bacteria that you might be storing in or around your toenails. So I'm just mixing all that together and because I'm a little extra, I'm adding some flower petals because why not? Just to give me that nice spa-like feeling. I place my feet in and I let it stay for about 20 minutes. If I have more time, I let it stay longer. And next, I'm going to use some cuticle softener. This is totally optional. You can use your conditioner. It works the same way. Placing some around my cuticles, around the nail. This really helps to soften the nail and the cuticles while I soak. Next, I'm using my pet egg. If you don't have one of these, you can use whatever you have at home to get rid of that excessive um, dead skin. Um, just whatever it is, a pedicure stone, um, a scrubber, whatever you have at home to get rid of that dry and dead skin around your toes on the sole of your feet your heel and really rub that in and i do that until i get a favorable result and i repeat that to the next feet then i move on to a foot scrubber i use one side the rougher side first and then i smooth that down with the softer side and repeat on both Next, I'm using a nail polish remover and a cotton pad to remove and wipe away anything that I might have had on my nails. Moving on to the cuticle pusher. There are varying types, but today I'm going to be using an orange one. This will help me to push my cuticles back and get rid of excessive overgrown dead tissues. I repeat this step with all my toes. Next, I go in with a nail file. I use this to remove the excessive buildup that I've just removed from under my toes and my cuticles. It's also slender enough to go between the nail and the cuticles to remove any excessive buildup that I might have missed with the orange wood. Moving on to the cuticle trimmer. There are many types. This is the type I'm going to be using today to just remove the excessive cuticle that have grown around my nails. This will give the nail a more finished and polished look after everything is complete. It's important to be very careful when doing this step to prevent yourself from getting any form of injury. Next, I'm going in with my nail cutter. I'm going to use this to cut my nails and I usually cut my nails across as this is my personal preference. Going in now with a buffer 
to smooth down the sides and the edges of the nail to give it a more polished and finished look. Next I'm going to be using my body scrub. It's a sugar scrub that I made myself. If you're interested in seeing that, you can leave a request in the comments box below. And I just use this to really exfoliate my skin and my feet. It really helps to get rid of any excess or residual skin or dead skin that might have left over and really gets the circulation going. Next I'm just using some fresh room temperature water to rinse my feet. Then I'm just going to use a dry paper towel to dry my feet, my leg, and in between my toes. Next, I just go back in with my towel to touch up on anything that I might have missed. Going in now with my body butter, another DIY personal favorite, a combination of cocoa butter, shea butter, lavender butter um, and the works now you know what to do if you'd like to see a video on this you can definitely leave a comment below and massage this into my skin giving myself a mini massage it will be a pair greasy at first but because the ingredients are natural it will seep and absorb right into the skin leaving your skin feeling very soft and having that inner glow Next, I'm just going to use some more removal or alcohol to wipe away the oil from my nails and then I'm going to use a top coat or a clear nail polish to just coat my nails. Following up with an orange wood to just clean away any excess or mess that I made and it really makes it easy after you have really cleaned and cut away those dead cells and tissues around the cuticle. Lastly, I'm finishing up with the cuticle oil which is another DIY personal favorite. You can leave a comment on that below also. I just pop that into my cuticles and that really helps to give me that moisture. And that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching do leave a thumbs up a comment and don't forget to subscribe until next time i'm your girl momo thanks for watching this video take care